What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Killing Flow 3 error connection error failed to authenticate with online services on your PC and how we can fix this up. So let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about if you're already in the game, we just need to return to the title and we have to launch the game once again. So if already in the game and you're feeling like you're having the trouble with this connection error and all those things just go back to the steam like this you have to return to the title then afterwards you have to launch the game once again and you have to check that might work for in some cases or you can move to the second step second step is all about we need to turn off or on the vpn so you can just go over here search for settings now from here navigate to metal canadian net and if you find the VPN is turned on, you have to turn off the VPN. If the VPN is already turned off, then try turning on the VPN and connect it with a particular location and you have to check. Maybe for some reasons or for some region, there might be an issue. So you have to try this as well. Next step is all about we need to install EAC or install prod function on your Dazit link on it. And we think to do so, we just need to go over here on the game, right click and go to the properties, go to installer file and click on the browse. That will take you to the installation folder over here at the top. Now, if you get into the EC and the cheat, you can see that I have already created the shortcut. So now this is what you have to do. Once you get into the EC and the cheat folder, you can see we have a EC and the cheat setup file here. So right click on this one, go to the show more options. Then what we need to do is we just need to go over here, create a shortcut. Once the shortcut is created, right click on this one. Now we need to go over here, show more options, go to the properties. As you can see, this is the target link. Now we have to go over here at the end. Now go to the end and we have to put a space, then type install. Then we have to put a space B R O D F. That is a function which I've been giving in the video description. Go to apply, go for OK, and you have to check. After giving this one, close everything and launch the game, and you have to check because I the cheat while we installing while you're launching the game. Similarly, go to the File Explorer, go to the game installation folder. Now from here in the Steam library, get into Steam Amps and go to the common. Now from here, get into the folder named Nightfall. Now you can see there is a file called Stan Protected Game. We have to run this as an administrator. Run this as administrator and you have to check the game will be launching without an issue and you have to check. Next step is all about we need to allow the game to the Windows security. So go over here in the game control panel. Now from here go to network and sharing center. Now go to change adapter settings. Sorry, not change adapter settings. You have to so I click on this one. We have to click on Windows Defender Firewall. Go to allow Napper feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to add the Killing Floor 3. By default, the game will be added, but even though we have to make a cross check from our side. So keep scrolling down. And if we go over here at the top, we can see in the alphabet order, if we check on K, Killing Floor 3 is already added. Then you have to put a check on both the boxes, private and public. That's very important. So you have to put a check on this box as well as this one. Then if stay, if you're having the trouble after trying this one, you have to, if you don't find the scaling flow three, you need to click on the change settings and you have to add it from the game installation directory. You can go over here on the game installation directory. Now from here, you can add the game. That is also fine. You can add the game from here. Once you add the game, you have to put a check on both the boxes, private and public. Next step is all about, we need to move to be CMB. So CMB, so just go over here, search for the CMB. You have to go over with command prompt, run as administrator. Now we need to go for yes. Now once it's popping up, what we need to do is we just need to go over here. I'll be giving these commands one by one. So the first command is IP config. So this will be in the video description, so you don't have to worry. Just paste, copy and paste it, press enter. Next one, we have to go to IP config release. Now go over here, paste it, press enter. Next one, we have to go for IP config renew. Now just go over here and paste it, press enter. Next one, we have to go for IP windsocker reset. 
the skull here and please check this and then make sure we have to go forth reset the skull here and please check this and then put once again before reset press enter do it once again for v6 reset copy this just copy everything from here and paste it then you have to so paste it press enter once done with this one you have to close everything do a restart and you have to check that might work in some cases make sure it's all about we need to uncheck ipv6 go to the control panel now go to the network and sharing center Go to change and app the settings. Select the Wi-Fi that is already connected. Go to the properties. And oh, here you can see the Internet Protocol version 6. Make sure that you keep this blank. If you put a check, you have to uncheck it. Apparently, we have to give the DNS server. So go over here and select the Internet Protocol version 4. Right click. Or go to the properties. Over here in the preferred DNS server and after DNS server, you have to give the value 8. 888 8, 8. for ultimate DNS service should be 884 8, and 4. Now go for OK. Then we have to check with the game. Next step is all about we should be trying to switching into a different network. So just go over here. Right now, as you can see, I'm connected to the BSNM. So make sure that you either try any of these network and you have to check. Make sure we need to update the windows. So just go over here. Search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, navigate to Windows Update. Just update your Windows. That's very important. Once you update the Windows, you are fine with it. So these are the steps and I hope this kick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye-bye.